Good morning! It's Melody Lane here. It's not morning. And it's 4th of July. And I have not talked to you guys all week. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I'll just do a live hangout just to talk to you guys. Wish you all a happy, not Father's Day, a happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day to those of you in the United States. I know not all of you are in the United States, so have a great Friday to you guys or Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure when you're going to watch this. But today I have an announcement. I have a haul from Hobby Lobby and Amazon and I even bought something I didn't know I was buying that. I thought it was something else. So I'll show you that. It's something I've never seen before for crafting. I'm, I need a haircut so I'm going to show you how I cut my own hair sometimes. I'm not going to give me a whole haircut, just some volume on top. And I'm going to show you how you can do it. So first, because I see myself in the monitor and I don't like my hair, I need my color done. But I only worked on Tuesday for half a day and then I haven't worked. I do have to work Saturday morning for a little while. And then I'm done. I really need my hair colored, but I hate staying at work getting my hair colored. When I could be home crafting that I haven't done this week hardly at all. I'll show you a card and then after I edit this video, I'm going to try to work on some more. I have a lot designed in design space and I just haven't cut them out. I don't know what's been wrong with me. I've been in a slump this week only and I know all I have to do is watch my videos and learn how to be happy, right? Well, sometimes you just can't be happy all the time, but I have turned my mood around a lot this week and, you know, remember what I'm grateful for. Heck, I'm grateful for electricity that some people didn't have because of storms on Monday and Tuesday. So be grateful for everything you have. And you just have to choose happiness. This week, it has been hard for me. It's not always easy. It does help to remember to choose happiness. I haven't done many videos this week. I did do, I actually did three hangouts this week. It's easier because I don't have to edit them. But... I've been on Facebook way too much. Oh, and I went and saw Tammy last night, the movie, with Melissa McCarthy. Hi, Melissa, if you're watching. First, let's cut my hair. Ugh. I do this at work, and other I never do it when I have a client. Well, maybe when they're colors processing, I have. But the other the clients look at me like, oh my God, what is she doing? Which I probably should not do this in front of clients, but... I just do it. So here's what I do. Like my hair is really long on top, like really long. I'm not used to my hair this long at all. It's really long everywhere. I'm a lot of times I have my ears cut out and short in the back. And then this is really short and then longer in the front. That's kind of how I've worn it for the past like 15, 20 years, really. Like, like some sort of version of that, not like same style. Like clients I used to meet have a different hair and different hair color every month I used to like change it that often okay so today we are going to just go like this let me show you see I'm just sort of grabbing everything that will come up into a ponytail on the top see that I got a ponytail now, I'm just taking these horrible scissors. I should probably, these Cricut scissors are probably much better. Well, let's use these Cricut scissors. I usually use these to cut ribbon, so they're probably sharper. And, okay, I could go like this and cut this here, but that's not very smart for you to try. Because you could, if you cut it here, you're gonna be in trouble. And then you're going to blame me for a bad haircut. So don't do that. And don't blame me. So what, well, I can't, I'm going to pull my hand up. Pull your hand up and make sure you have enough hair there. This is really hard to do in video. Usually I just hold my head upside down and grab it and cut. Okay, there I go. Look at how much I cut off. I don't suggest you cutting that much off. There. 
And remember, I work in a hair salon, so if I mess up my own hair, I can get it fixed tomorrow. Or call a friend, I need my hair fixed, and it won't cost me anything. So beware if you're doing it yourself. But it doesn't look too bad. Now if I were to wash this and dry this properly, I would have a lot more volume here. I also take my fitting shears and just cut like right there. Look at all the volume I have. It just stays where it's at. <laughs> but yeah, I think it looks better already. Got hair in my mouth. Okay. Now we got that out of the way. Oh, another an announcement. Something you guys don't know. I cut hair for a living. I also make videos for a living and I do make some money from that. And I have Patreon that really helps me a lot right now. And I am so grateful for that because I have another business. I run it out of my house now. I used to have it I used to have a whole warehouse and stuff, but rent just became too much, so I downsized it a lot. And I really hate doing it, and it takes up my whole master bedroom. So my bed is not in my master bedroom. My master bedroom has a business in it. Now, <laughs> okay, some of you, I just realized what I said. My master bedroom has a business in it. Okay, some of you guys need to clear your minds. I'm going to tell you what that is in a minute, okay? So what? keep watching. I really hate doing that business anymore. It's like, sex the life out of you, you know? And I don't want to do it anymore. But that's not... I am closing it. But it's not a choice I made. It was made for me. Kind of. I think it was by God who chose this for me because he knows how much I hate it. So I sell beauty products to salons. It's a brand from Italy called Elgon and it is the best hair color ever. It really is. Like I really love their hair color. So I got a call a few months ago about from my supplier saying he's retiring. I'm like, oh no, where am I going to get this stuff? He didn't. He had no one to tell me. Well, I know why he had no one to tell me, because the guy I found was horrible. I was shipped the wrong stuff, charged the wrong amount, shipped damaged product. I couldn't get callbacks from him. I couldn't get anything. It was ridiculous. And now he's not returning my call after I sent him a picture of the hairspray that had a dent in every single can. Yeah. So, I don't like this man anymore. <laughs> He's not helpful for me or my business, and he's making me give, not bad stuff, but like, I had to sell him dented cans. I did give him a discount, even though I didn't get a discount, so they got it. I didn't make any money on it, but I'm not going to sell the stuff for a regular price when it's bad. We can't get everything we need, so... My customers are not used to that. They're used to ordering, and I have it, and I sell it to them. This was just two weeks ago, I think, maybe a week and a half, that we've decided to not sell it anymore. And it was a huge decision. Not re but like I said, it, I really didn't have a choice. I'm not selling this stuff to my clients. Like, it's too stressful. I want to be happy about it, not like, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have that, and I don't know when we're going to get it, and I don't know if it'll be damaged. So... We're not doing it anymore. And mostly I did it by myself. Unless my mom's here, not in Florida, then she delivers it to the people in town. But then everything else I do. And it did not make me happy. It took away from my crafting time. And so I'm kind of happy now. But I was really stressed out because it did help pay my rent. It did pay some of my utilities. It paid... My mom and I's cell phone. And so it paid a lot of the bills. Because I only do hair three days a week. So now I'm very grateful for Patreon that is helping me out now. It's replaced the financial part of that. So now I'm a little less stressed. But then I am still stressed again because that goes up and down. And it can go way down and just, you know, 
any time. So I feel stressed to get videos out and get everything out. But I, that was just this week. I'm over that now. I didn't do anything. I was so I was also stressed about telling some of our clients that we're not selling it anymore because they freak out. Even a girl in our salon, she's freaking out, texting me late at night. I'm freaking out. I don't know what I'm going to do. Elgon is the best color. And so everyone's asking me what color I'm going to use. I don't know yet. And because some people want to use the same color as I do because they ask me questions on how to do it. Just like you guys ask me crafting questions, I get hair color questions. I'm going to have a little less stress in my life because that is going to be over. It's not over yet, so it's still stressful now. It's actually more stressful now because everyone's worried about getting their hair color. And they're worried about what they're going to use next. So, that's what's been going on with me this week. Noelle in our Christmas card hangout. Just ask me what's wrong. Well, I don't know if she did it when I was recording or it was afterwards. But ask me, is there something wrong? I'm like, no. And, I mean, it was just stress, I think. And I'm not one for stress. I really don't do stress. I'm not really stressed. I don't worry a lot because my thought on worrying is, you're worried about something, you have to think about it. Can you change it? Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can make a change. Make it for the better. Sometimes you have no control over it. Some, you know, if you cannot change what you're worried about, then don't worry about it because all it does is bring negative vibes back to you and what you're worrying about will happen. Like if you're worried about something happening bad, it's going to happen because you're concentrating and that's all you're thinking about. And what you think about actually comes true. Your thoughts turn into things. You guys have magical powers in your brain. Yeah, I just said that. I know. I might be crazy. But I really think it's true. Your thoughts become things. I'm not the first one to say that. So, I have a happy thoughts. And I have a haul with happy stuff. Okay, first I'm going to show you the Amazon. Because I thought... I was ordering something for a giveaway, okay? I thought I was ordering like one of these, but they were green. I ordered a green one because it was a little cheaper than the others. It was like $6 and the others were like eight or something. So I went ahead and ordered it. Well, let me show you what I got. This. Say it looks the same. Look at the size. Have you ever seen this? I've never seen it. I don't know. Is it really old or is it brand new? I've never seen it. It even has directions. This does it only up to one inch wide. I bought this for a giveaway. Now that I just opened this, I'm not decided if I'm going to give it away. Do I want to keep it? It's kind of nice that it's smaller. It's only a half an inch smaller than this. It only has 10 feet of adhesive, but can you buy extra adhesive? I've never seen this before. It works the same way. It's kind of just really cute, so I might have to keep it. I'll put a link to the stuff from Amazon in the description below. And in the description, you guys, you can like click open more because there's a lot more in that description. Oh, just what you see is not in there. You gotta open it up and see everything has all my links in it too for Facebook, Twitter, and all that. I kind of like this. It's kind of cute. Now here's something else I got that I don't need. I have a Cretopia machine. This is, mine's purple though. or has purple sides. That is like a Cretopia. And it has adhesive on it. 12 by 12. It also has a 12 by 12 embossing cartridge that you can put on it it's it's not really that good though for that like it's just ugly circles they're not even close together for this embossing thing i bought it from hsn like four years ago maybe three i don't know it was a long time ago they talked me into it it also has laminating cartridges it has different cartridges you can fit in so that's what i bought like here's cartridges 
I bought another 12 by 12 adhesive cartridge. 40 feet. So you can make 40 12 by 12 papers have full adhesive over the whole thing. And I already have one and I've never ever used it for four years. And I bought another one. But the reason I never used it is because I was always afraid to use it because I don't have any more and I didn't know where to buy them. So maybe I'll use it now? I don't know. I buy more things for things I don't use. I know I'm not the only one. You guys tell me in the comments that so you do that too. And I bought this. Oh, I like those colors. I like to use these for inking the edges of stuff. Then I got this because someone told me about it. I'm going to open it up. Oh, and keep watching. I have a card share for you. A really cool card for my son. I haven't given it to him yet. But he did come over the day after his birthday and I told him his card wasn't ready. But I gave him the money that would have been inside. <laughs> That's all he really cares about. But I think he'll like this card. Okay, these were at a good price. This is Martha Stewart. And it's a glue pen. And look how fine it is. It's like a ink pen. But it's glue! I think Tabitha Carroll maybe have told me about this. It's a ballpoint tip glue pen for real fine stuff. I heard it was good. So not only did I buy one, I bought three to give away. One to, two to give away, one to keep. One of them will probably go on my $15 giveaway, pledge giveaway. Hobby Lobby. I haven't gone to Michael's in a few weeks, and I really feel I need to go. But I got this. These were 40% off all the stamps. It was, it's normally $6.99. Um, I love this one, and when I put this on the back of the card, people comment they really like that. It says made just for you because you're priceless with the barcode. I think it's cute. And I've already bought these for me, so I bought these to give away. I love this with the little flags and the glittery. And I think this is really cool with the stars. And then I used my coupon on this. Everything else was in sale. I used my coupon on this. This is a quilling tool. I already have this. I can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. And I like to use these to roll flowers, to make the 3D flowers. Someone asked me to do a video on that, although I did one already, but she said did it in too fast forward, so I'm going to try to do it slower and teach how to do the flowers. But it really works best with a little quilling tool. It's like a little tool that has a slot in the metal part, so you can put your paper in there and it'll hold it. Now this is for my $15 pledge giveaway. It's the envelope punch. At Hobby Lobby, I actually went in to buy this with a 40% off coupon. I'm like, I'll get a punch to give away. And all their punches were already 40% off. So I went to the counter to pay, and she was going to use my coupon on this. I said, no, that's already. It says all punches 40% off. This is a punch. So I got 40% off. It is. I think it's, I think, the sign was right above it. So I think it goes as a punch. It punches. So I got it for 40% off. So I got to use my 40% off on the little $3.99 quilling tool. Oh, I forgot something else I got at Amazon. So don't stop watching. And I got these were in the clearance. If you have the chipboard from Hobby Lobby, the chipboard Cricut cartridge. You can cut these things. Peace signs, that's it now. And mustaches. These were all like 75. Yeah. They'll probably go in the giveaway. Okay. Now this, I'll open one of these up because one of them is for me. This is Vinyl Ease. This is the vinyl. I've shared the link for this many times. And this is the vinyl I used at my class when we did, um, what did we do? When I did the Cricut Design Space class and I gave everybody a mug and I brought this vinyl in for them to use on it. It's shiny vinyl. And I'm not going to, I, uh, 
I'm not going to totally take it out because I just keep it stored in here. But I'm going to show you every piece is a different color. There's like two different colors of, oh, there's three different colors of white. There's a shiny, a matte, and then like an off-white. And I think black, there's also shiny and matte. There's two, there's three kinds of red, and they're all different. It's pink. The camera looks red, but it's pink. It's hot pink. Some more. Wow, these colors in the camera and in person look different. Here's my favorite one. It's the color of my wall. This is the one I used on my Explore machine with my letters. I'm not doing a very good job of showing you the colors, but you get a nice variety of colors. So they're all 12 by 12. You can order the same pack in 12 by 24 or in 6 by 12. That's cheaper. And it has application instructions. So I got two of these, one for me, one for a giveaway for my Patreon $15 pledge. We've cut my hair, told you about the announcement, showed you my haul. Now let me show you the card I made. It is an Xbox card. It's the Xbox controller, and you guys have seen this before I even do my video. And I, look, it says happy birthday, Alex. Kind of like in kid writing. I don't know why I just chose that for him. I'm like, I don't want to make it for a kid. He's 23. But I welded this card together, wrote on it, and did everything in design space. This was an SVG that Crafts by Two gave me to do this card for my son. So I am a Patreon of theirs. And I will be doing it, editing a video of this, but I did it on my new iMac computer and I don't know how to use the iMovie software. And I'm getting new software, should be here probably Saturday, so I can learn how to use that because I don't know how to use that either. But I didn't, I was gonna watch and learn how to use I, the iMovie. And then I'm like, I am not going to learn this and learn the other one too. Because my brain gets filled up and then I don't remember anything. So, yeah. Now i got to watch videos on how to learn to use Final Cut Pro. I really got to do that. I started watching some. That's one re reason why you guys haven't had a, a video lately. So this one's extra long. And I want you all to have a happy and safe 4th of July weekend. Not just the 4th of July, the whole freaking weekend. Be safe. Wait, I almost forgot to tell you about the movie I went and saw, Tammy, with Melissa McCarthy. Melissa, I love you. I loved your movie. It was very funny. Did you guys know Melissa wrote the movie? Her husband's in it, too. I'm not sure if he co-wrote it. But she produced it, and I forgot who else produced it. I know the name. I just can't think of it. Hmm. It was somebody famous. Well, anyway, I loved the movie. It was very funny, and I loved the ending. After they say the end, they give you, like, some bonus footage. It's not bloopers yet. It's bonus footage that I thought was pretty funny. It made me smile. Or laugh I don't know but when I walked out I was smiling and you also have to stay even after the credits roll you think it's over oh there's no more then they boom you with some bloopers yeah it's funny I was glad I saw the bloopers I had to t I'm starting to walk out and I turned around to watch them and I'm so glad I got to see them but the movie's pretty good it's got love story in it it's got it's got comedy it's got like real life although Melissa I thought your mother was a little too young to be your mother and your grandma was a little too young to be your grandma but I love those women so I'm glad you had them in your movie they're so funny I really like the movie I enjoyed it it was funny it was shocking it was romantic 
at times a little bit. Yeah, that was very entertaining. I suggest you go see it. I give it two thumbs up. I love you guys. There are going to be some more videos coming soon. Some really special ones on my craft channel. So if you don't subscribe, subscribe and click like. Oh, and congratulations to Eli Duponte who won my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Yeah. He is a boy, he looks like, a, I think he's a teenager. I didn't ask him how old he is, but he's going to get my stuff. And he'll, he should get it next week. All right. Hi, Eli. And I love you all. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I really missed you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.